Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on NCAA 14 and the Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty. Got some recruiting to do but also we have a new head coach upgrade. Let's go ahead and head over to these skill trees here and it's got to be recruiting let's see we could upgrade one of these the closer increase your recruiting points total blah 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 at the end of the thing this should be at the start royal treatment and we could recruit visit your school you receive a bonus of 100 points and this one is about opening locked recruits let's get a let's get the closer Increase your recruiting points total by plus 500 points in weeks 8 through 15. That feels pretty good to me. So that is what we will do. I don't know if we're out on Colby Spencer yet. It feels like we are. But I don't, I don't know. I'm going to keep going for it. We took the lead on Greg Fouts. Not that far behind on Bobby Caldwell. I want to get these athletes for sure. And then um, it looks like we're definitely going to land Larry Flowers, the punter. And Pete Riley is almost a sure thing. That's unbelievable. All right, this Sun Belt matchup, I think we can win. We are three and five overall. Louisiana Monroe is two and seven. How good are they? They're not very good. Now, granted, they have 70 offense, 70 defense, which is better than our offense and defense. The overalls are not that much different. Although I guess special teams would come into effect there. But this is a team that we can beat. We've been in games this year. We need to get off to a better start. The last two weeks, the last two games, we have not been very good. That needs to change today if we're going to get a win. All right, Ozark State versus, of course, of course, Louisiana Monroe at Malone Stadium. Not exactly a packed house, but I wouldn't go to this game, and I run the franchise. I run the dynasty, so you can probably understand, especially in the rain. Yeah, I'll pass. I live in New Jersey, and uh, someone offered my dad tickets to Michigan Rutgers, right? And uh, he called me up. He's like, hey, I figured you wouldn't be interested, but how about uh, Michigan Rutgers? What do you think? I got free tickets. I go, yeah, you were right. There's no way. I'm going to go watch Michigan just absolutely destroy Rutgers. You got to drive up like 40 minutes to an hour just to watch one of the worst possible teams in Rutgers play one of the best in Michigan yeah no thanks all right let's get it going today man let's have this offense show out oh no couldn't get the throw off we're sacked is this defensive line gonna be a problem today look at that near insta shed it's a great pass rush I really hope we don't have to face that all game we're just gonna have to check down hope Maxwell can make somebody miss and he can't we're going to have to punt. This is not what we wanted to do. We wanted to come out, you know, guns firing. We are outlaws after all. But if you guys have been watching my Red Dead playthrough on my second channel, the age of the outlaw is over. Should have known better. You should be the Ozark uh, industrialists. My second channel is linked in the description if you guys are interested. Red Dead 2 might be the best game I've ever played. It's hard to say, but it's so visually amazing, and the story is incredible. Give it a check out. Maybe you'll like it. I don't know. But back to the action. <laughs> Ball's loose. Montreal Gardner knocked it out, and it's recovered by the safety Antoine Watts. This defense has stepped up in recent weeks, yet the offense has taken steps back. It's, uh, you know... Two steps forward, two steps back, something opposite to track. Do you guys know that song from the 90s? I don't remember the lyrics. It's by Paula Abdul. 1988. That's a great throw. Ryan Muller holds on. He really has been the most consistent player for us at the receiver position, and it's not even close. Here we go, Goddard. Pitched it back to the Timmons tight end. 
the Timmons. Thought maybe he'd be a little bit more open. Uh, unfortunately not. 0 for 1 on third down already. We're getting into that habit early. Let's not. I don't even know what we want to do here. I want actually Ryan Muller on an in, if possible. Not a hitch. Let's put him on an in. Something's got to get open, right? Goddard, please! This doesn't have it. Nothing really got open. That was the best bet. And it did not work out again. What is happening? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I think the QB had an aneurysm. Snapped the ball. And... What am I doing with my entire life? I don't know what happened there, but he had a vision quest mid-snap. Colin's gonna scramble, and he's turned into scrambled eggs. <laughs> Trey Way, Trey Washington with the sack. Monroe will punt. Louisiana Monroe, I'm not gonna call him Monroe. It's gotta be Jake Rodriguez, quick, right? I need that middle linebacker to drift in off the get-go. We hit Rodriguez, there it is. Jake Rodriguez drops the ball. What's new? I just... Uh, can he really uncork that? Roland Francisco! Down to the 169 yards. That is so nice. I didn't think Goddard would have the arm. We waited for it. We waited for it. We waited for it. And Goddard hit it perfectly. That's why you look at him last week and you go, who was that quarterback? Because even though we've been inconsistent so far, haven't really been able to convert on third down the past few weeks. Goddard goes and he just throws that one perfectly downfield in stride for Roland Francisco. Darren Maxwell votes the touchdown. And, and it looks like two different players. This week, I'm voting for Pedro. Put him into office. Oh, that's, part, that's tight coverage. It's unbelievably tight coverage. And of course, it didn't work out. I might just have to use her a defensive lineman or something, man. It just doesn't work out. Even when I do everything right, I don't do anything right. That's got to be a pick! Oh, my God. Don't give him a deflection. I need it on the stat sheet as a dropped interception that is in your hands. Oh, that's bad. Osborne. Alec Osborne picks up 24 and this ULM offense continues to move and operate out of the hurry up. So we should have the ball right now. Oh man. And that is a touchdown. I tried to help out in man coverage, but Xavier Brown was too good. Won his one on one very easily. And ULM has tied things up 7 to 7 with a minute to play here in the first quarter. Goddard over the middle. Guess who? Ryan Muller. And he's still going. 35 yards. Goddard working well to escape the pocket. Extending the play. Finding the open man. I'm playing good football today. Just a matter of time before we blow this thing wide open. The defense has been playing well also. So I like what this game has in store for us, I think. This could be a win. Uh, I'm going to figure out what it is. I looked at the lyrics, kind of. I glanced as we're going to escape the pocket with Goddard. Have RB, but Goddard is going to take it himself. Keep it on the ground. 20-yard pickup. Oh, we come together because opposites attract. I'm sorry, Paul Abdul. If you're watching this, I'm interested, by the way. That's got to... Oh, what are you doing? Pedro! This is what we talked about. Where is that... Ball. We have the post wide open. Pedro's like, oh, we have dark jerseys. No, Pedro, we're away. It's not even the Ozark orange. It's not even close. Oh, my God. We need to get him some Napoleon Dynamite glasses. He's absolutely blind. Oh, man. It's been a fantastic drive for ULM so far. First down after first down after first down. Will Collins has been great. Oh man, that's not good. Please step up. I'm terrible. Ah, uh, 
And he wouldn't have made the tackle anyway with the CPU, but... There we go, Darren Maxwell. Ooh, a little bit of power in there. We're gonna roll out, throw it on the run. It's Jake Rodriguez. We keep trying to get him involved, but he drops the ball almost every time we throw it to him now. All of a sudden, he was sure-handed. It was a lot of Gabriel Timmons, our second string tight end in the beginning of this series. But it's been all Jake Rodriguez since then. But these past couple of weeks, man, he's been not even on the field. Every time we throw it to him, drop, 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 drop. Give me a block. There we go. It worked out all right. I don't know if Pedro Goddard really has that huge play potential on the ground. Kind of need everything to go right in order for that to happen. But we've been finding success here in this quarter. Running the football, it's been Pedro Goddard. It has been Darren Maxwell. And I'll take four or five every time. How do you not block that? Like, Jake Rodriguez, I am so close to putting him on the bench. You can't be one of our best players on paper and then come out to the field and play like he plays every week for the past two, three weeks. It can't happen. Rodriguez! Oh my god, Pedro Goddard. You are an absolute disaster! We have Jake Rodriguez wide open. And once again, they have not been able to connect. We're going to go for it here on 4th and nine. I don't know why we're doing that exactly, but we are. Let's go offense. Rodriguez. Same exact play earlier. Still can't find the separation. Still only read with the pressure coming in. It's just frustrating. It's a screen, and it's another dropped interception. This time, Mark Fenner. Will Collins, the quarterback for ULM, has two incompletions this, this game, today. Two dropped interceptions. And that, who knows, could be the difference in the game. Of course, another first down. It's a fake pitch to the outside. There's Luckett. I have no idea what's happening. It's an option. Get him, Antoine Watts. That sound weird to anybody else? I should have just called him Antoine. I didn't I didn't like that. <laughs> I gotta point it out. This is my first time doing a YouTube video. I don't know if you guys you guys knew that. Could have fooled me, I know. Collins trying to escape! Did he bowl over Montreal Gardner? I think he did. First and goal. It's a pitch. You gotta get off the block, Mark, and he can't wrap up. Tyler Kane, two-yard touchdown run to extend ULM's lead to two touchdowns. And that's just not, it's not a good throw either. We had separation. That was Gabriel Timmons. We had separation. And again, I don't know if it's because of the rain or what, but the ball, again, is just not where it needs to be. Look, we had space. There's Montrell Gardner. Obviously, you can't wrap up. He's only our star middle linebacker. He's terrible. There's not one player in this defense that is remotely a game changer for us. It's underneath Osborne. He gets the first down. Clock's going to stop momentarily. ULM has been managing it very well. I'm sure they'll get back to the line, snap the ball. And a score giving us probably 42 seconds to answer, depending on how this play works out. Collins going to run, and he is brought down into sack. Who was that? Brian Mullins. He has been pretty good, but none of our defensive linemen get any consistent pressure or are consistent playmakers in the run game. So you can understand my frustration in saying that none of these guys are consistent playmakers for us because we really don't have any. Lightning McQueen is the closest thing we have and that's got to be an interception. It's dropped again. That was I believe Antoine Watts it was tough to say. Field goal is up and good. ULM extends their lead this time making the score 24 to 7. We have 21 seconds to score. 
I don't think it's going to happen, even with three timeouts. We might just be better off taking this thing into the next half, seeing if we can mount the comeback. We need Pedro Goddard to start throwing the football a little bit better. Goddard, look at the speed. Pretty good. I don't think it's going to mean much. We have two seconds here. It's going to be very difficult to uh, pick up the score. We're just going to scramble with Goddard. He's actually got some space first down, but that will be the half over and done with. Down 24-7. to seven. I don't think the game's over, but we really need to turn it around. It's kicking off to start the third quarter as we do right now. Certainly not helping. Collins going to scramble. Bring him down. They're going to call that a sack. All right. If you say so. Mark Fenner. CB2 gets credit for it. Gardner, keep up, please. Somebody make a play on the ball. It's the outlaw. Chris Outlaw. He's got grass in front of him. How can you not beat the guard in a foot race? Anyway, this is a playmaker for us. He's not always the best. He, he is a playmaker for us. Surefire difference maker, maybe not. He does have a good way of getting interceptions. That's either his third or fourth on the season. And that's more than I can say for anybody else on this team. That's wide open. Goddard under throws it. That's not where we need the ball to be. And it's intercepted by Hubbard. I run right past him. Darren Maxwell uh, dove at the air. And it's going to be a pick six. <laughs> You're telling me this isn't wide open? Try to throw the ball right here. Look at all this space, Pedro. Look at all this space. Look where the ball is. <laughs> oh my god. You ever heard lead him to the open area? It's like he was aiming for the safety. Terrible. Terrible. Wide open. It's Cody. There we go. He had a two, three game stretch where he got pretty active, but... Not so much. That's one of his first times even touching the ball in a number of weeks, I think. Look at the speed of Pedro Goddard. Give me a block. Try to slide there. Goddard's like, nah, I'll take it. I'll stumble forward. He's gassed, though. Is he injured? Oh, my God. It's Kedrick Cunningham's in. What a disaster. Oh, Goddard back in the game. We're golden. Try to hand the ball off. It just didn't do it. Right, maybe I need a new controller. I feel like I have these issues every game. Third and 12. Honestly, game on the line here. We're going to need a score probably. There's Goddard. Finds Jake Rodriguez. This time they convert. And you know what? It wasn't Pedro Goddard. It was Kedrick Cunningham back in the game. I don't know who our QB is changes by the minute. Cunningham staying in the game for this two-point conversion attempt. And the speed's just too good. Kedrick Cunningham is in there easy. Oh, that's not good. Get him, Fulton. He kind of got blocked in the side weird. And that's going to be a kick return touchdown. All right. Juwan Offray, 96 yards. All right. Okay. Back to square one. This time with Kedrick Cunningham. I always try to step into a spin. And it's work, it works like once out of every seven or eight tries. As you can see, it didn't work there. Just looked like a weird step to the side. Kedrick Cunningham. This is why we use him. Okay. Probably should have stepped out of bounds. This is not a... This is not a win. Collins is sacked. It's Montreal Gardner coming in, making the play. He's been all over the field today. Eight tackles. Eight missed tackles. Why not? That's going to be a touchdown. Koofy. Oh, he just didn't want it? Whatever. Okay. Collins takes it himself. Touchdown. ULM goes up. 45 to 15. The extra point. Wow. Kedrick Cunningham, we're going to take it. 
And just slide. Turnovers, again, killed us. She's gonna be running all day with Kedrick Cunningham. That's all it is. Works out well enough, to be honest. More Kedrick Cunningham running action. Ah, I thought he was gonna fumble. We're gonna throw the ball this time. Kedrick Cunningham has an absolute noodle, but Jake Rodriguez can't catch the ball from Pedro Goddard. So maybe it's for the best. His throwing numbers look really good. Look at that thing wobble. Look at that duck. You can hear it quacking from here. But Jake Rodriguez caught it unbelievably. And it's a touchdown. It's got to be a tackle. Okay. I don't know what we're playing for at this point. We're down by a little bit here. That's a good pressure sack. It's going to be Jared Davenport, or Gerard, excuse me. Not a name we call very often. Big number 94. I don't know if I've seen him play the entire season. This is, this is me finding out he's even on the team. That field goal sneaks through. ULM makes it uh, an even bigger lead. 48. 22, more than doubling our points. Okay. Trey Hunter off the edge. That was uh, surprising. I don't think the right tackle even noticed that he was even on the field because he didn't react to it. The Warhawks decide to run the ball here and Tyler Kane rushes for a first down. That likely will end things here in Louisiana as we will take a long bus ride home and think about the disaster that was this game. That's gonna do it here today. We're gonna slip to three and six. This roster just can't hang with a lot of these top teams and it is unfortunate, but it is what it is at this point. We're gonna come back better than ever next year, but I will see you guys next week when we have another Louisiana matchup in Louisiana. If you guys didn't know, the Ozark State Outlaws, for whatever reason, are also located in Louisiana. Whoever made this team doesn't realize that the Ozark Mountain Range, mountains or whatever it is, not in Louisiana, whatever. But we play Louisiana, the University of the Raging Cajuns, Louisiana, Lafayette. It'll be an interesting one because they also are not that good. But that'll be for next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.